Today, we're redesigning one of the most popular note-taking platforms on the planet, Notion. I use Notion a lot, and I often find myself extremely frustrated with how difficult it is to use. There's lots of problems with Notion. It's really hard to make formatting changes because you have to hover over the text and select the text first and then hover over a contextual menu. Uh, all the controls are actually just quite small and condensed off to the side. There's lots of controls whose purpose I don't even understand. And just generally speaking, it just feels like it could be significantly easier to use. So we're going to try and tackle that today. Of course, here we've got their style guide. We're just taking the nice black and white hue that they're currently working with. Gonna experiment with using only black and gray hues to control the visual hierarchy to show you that you don't actually need color to pull visual attention. And then we're gonna swap out their font with uh, Jakarta, a nice rounded font uh, that will give a more friendly feel to the vibe uh, without impacting readability at all. Here's all the stories, everything I'd wanna achieve in this app. It's kind of a beast. There's a lot of things I would want to do, but not gonna read through these, just gonna get stuck in. Was feeling pretty overwhelmed as to how to reorder the layout here so that it would be easier to use. And usually when that's the case, I just start with a very low fidelity wireframe. I just type stuff in text, place it where I think it should go, and then flesh out the details from there. Once you have a couple hundred notes on Notion, it becomes pretty impossible to track down any sort of information you've typed in there. So I really wanted to re-emphasize search as like a primary feature of the app. In order to do that, I needed some inspiration. How can I refocus the UI around search? And we're gonna use this UI where we place the search container in the header just to the right of the logo. This really sends a signal to the user, hey, you should search instead of trying to dig through all the folders. And of course, when I'm looking at a note, I really need the context to help guide me as to what the content might be. And in this case, that context is provided by the title of the note. So presumably, when you're typing out notes, you could also type a title that describes the content. And if that's the case, we make it big and bold and place it right in front of the user. Whenever I'm using Notion, particularly within a larger organization, I often find myself getting lost all the time. Just like Hansel and Gretel, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs here so that I can find my way back to the parent category if I ever need to. We're making a couple of fundamental changes to the sidebar here. It just kind of makes sense semantically that the sidebar should be where I'm navigating between all of my notes that I have in Notion. Now, whether or not they're organized in folders is kind of a different story. Uh, but in the real Notion app, they have lots of different things happening in the sidebar, like creating a team space, opening templates, settings, and members. And that was a little confusing for me because that place was kind of reserved for navigation. Uh, so we're getting rid of all the bloat and we're just having navigation here. And we're going to move those controls elsewhere where they make more sense and place contextually. Now, since one of the main pain points I had with the old UI was discoverability, how do I just find my notes in the sea of notes that I have in Notion? Um, I figured having a list of categories that I can use to organize my notes in addition to the folder structure makes a lot of sense. So now, if I'm looking for just like personal information or I wanna just look at only work stuff, I can filter by professional or personal. And then that way I can see a contextual list of notes that are specifically tailored to the context in which I'm searching. It makes it much easier to find things. It seems like in Notion you can have an infinitely nested series of pages. So one page could be nested within another page, which is nested within another page. Uh, so how do we display that sort of information hierarchy in the left-hand sidebar? 
Well, we need to indicate a child-parent relationship somehow. But if we try to indent, we're going to run out of horizontal space once we get three or four layers deep. So instead of indentations, we're just going to change the icon to a little return icon flipped horizontally, which implies, hey, I'm a child of the parent, and then use vertical spacing to distinguish between the individual child areas. Now, whenever you have an interface whose primary focus is some text editor interface, you run into a really interesting design problem when you're designing for large desktop screens. You can't have the container of the text take up as much horizontal space as you want, because if you do that on very large screens, people's eyes are going to be craning back and forth to read the text. But if you then contain the text, you end up with a lot of blank space on very large screens. Uh, so there's a couple of ways you can get around this. You can either contain the entire UI and have a floating sidebar, or you can add some more content in the body container off to the side so that it doesn't appear so blank on very large screens. And that's what we're doing here. We're creating a metadata sidebar it's going to contain all of the important information about the note that isn't actually the text itself and place that off to the right. This accomplishes a couple of things. Not only does it help us deal with the white space problem, it also takes a lot of the weird metadata that shows up in random places in Notion and we just put it in one specific place. A much more nuanced solution, I think, and it turns out looking quite good as well. Creating the sidebar also opens up the door for us to add more sidebar metadata there when we see fit. So for example, for larger organizations, they may need to control who has access to certain files and we can just add a separate sidebar item where they can control that. And we can also make it collapsible so it doesn't constantly pull visual attention if we don't want it to. And that's what we're doing here. And finally, we're creating a consistent home for the format controls so that over time, users will understand that if they want to make something bold or add an image, the controls are always in this same place. And when they hover over the text container, they appear and make themselves known. This is definitely one of my more satisfying redesigns. I really feel like I did quite a good job uh, redesigning this. Uh, we've maintained the spirit of Notion with lots of the main controls still existing. Uh, we're not really using very much color at all. Um, it's focused on the notes itself as opposed to some other UI control. Uh, but we've reorganized everything and really specifically controlled the visual hierarchy so that the thing I need to do, focusing on the notes, is much easier to do. Uh, we've also got metadata off to the side here, which is initially hidden, but you can open more menus if you want. All of the actions you typically perform are aggregated in the upper right where they're supposed to be. And then if I want to make style changes to the content itself, all I have to do is hover over the content. And if I was to select something, I could then click from these controls, which are in the same place every time. So I don't need to guess and precisely move my mouse to click on those very small buttons. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Is this a notion that would meaningfully improve your experience or is it really just a reskin of the existing UI? And if you have any ideas for what I should redesign next, please also pop them in the comments below. Have a great week, folks. See you in the next one.